113 Questions About Evolution with John Perry. Evolutionary question number 15. Why do so many animals love playing in the snow? So recently over on Twitter, I shared a video that's been... Oh, you've probably seen it by now. This... <laughs> This panda bear is sledding in the snow. This was like the first big snow day at the zoo there. And he is having a blast. Now he's probably, I mean, people argue, maybe he's not so much playing as he is scratching his back. He just really likes to do this. <laughs> but I used to volunteer at the Portland Zoo. And it never, hardly ever snows in Portland. And what we would do every once in a while is we'd go down to the ice skating rink and we would get trucks full of ice shavings, which is basically like snow. And we'd bring it to the animals and we put it in their enclosures. We just we just switch between different animals. We'd you know one day we'd be doing it for the you know for the bears, one day we'd be doing it for the beavers and the otters and so on. And I was amazed at how almost every single animal, when you put snow in its enclosure, some of them right away they get really excited to go play in it. Some of them are scared at first, and they come very cautiously, and they, they test it out. But then something clicks in their head, and they start playing, and they just start having like the most fun that you could ever imagine an otter, or even, even birds will do it. I've never, I don't think we ever gave birds snow at the zoo, but there's videos online you can, you can see of crows that are playing in the first snow. There's, there's one of a crow that is learning how to sled on a rooftop if you if you type in youtube like sledding crow you'll find it it's hilarious like animals love playing in the snow and like why is this what is it possible that this is an adaptation that has evolved that this desire to play in the snow or is this just like a random fluke that animals just like to play in the snow well if we think about what the purpose of playing is from an evolutionary perspective, the whole point of playing, and you watch dogs play fetch, what they're doing is they're practicing their skills at moving their body. They're practicing, in the case of playing fetch, they're, the dogs are actually, they're pretending to hunt. They, they really like the ball if it squeaks when they bite it because it makes it sound like a real animal, like they're killing an animal. They'll bite onto things and just rip them apart. Vicious. The whole point of play is to figure out how your body works in various different situations. This is obviously play is most common in children, and it's because children are trying to learn how it is that they're supposed to move their body around. And play is a really good way to do that in a safe environment. There's play fighting. There's We play with words even and like things like poetry and so on. And we're really what we're doing is we're sharpening our skills. It's hard to tell if snow specifically, if there's like an instinct that animals have to get really excited and play in snow specifically, or if it's just that there's something crazy and new in my environment, I'm going to go explore it and have fun and play around in it because it's safe right now. And I want to be able to know how to deal with this later when things might not be safe, right? I mean, animals don't know that's why they're playing when they're playing. Humans don't know that's why they're playing when they're playing. But if you stop and look at it from an evolutionary perspective, that's what we're doing. We're, we're practicing so that when things get rough, we know how to deal with the snow. We know how long we can stay in it until we're too cold. We know how it packs when you press it down. We know what it's like to try and run in it. And all of this we learn through play. And the animals are doing the same thing. They get very, very excited. I wish that I had footage of the black bear at the zoo because we had the coolest... It, it, it really was amazing seeing this happen. We had an orphan black bear. And the story of that is actually kind of interesting how it came to us. Actually, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll go ahead and tell you that story too. So this bear... Uh, there were these people in Oregon that lived kind of out in the woods... They had, a, they had farmland that was next to some forests. And they went out, the, their dog, they had a big, like a golden lab or something like that. They had a big dog house for their dog outside. He was an outside dog. And one day they're calling their dog and their dog's not coming to them. And so they go out to the dog house to check on him. And the dog is cuddled up with a baby black bear. So it must have been an orphan. And it attached to their dog as its mother and, you know, obviously that's super cute when the bear is a cub and uh, 
for whatever reason, they decided we should probably tell Fish and Wildlife about this. Um, you know, maybe it's illegal to have a, just a black bear on your property, just hanging out with your dog, keeping it as a pet. Probably it is. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> um, but so whatever it was, they contacted the officials and the officials contacted the zoo. Like, do you guys want a, this cub? It's not really going to be releasable because it's been living with this dog and these people for several days now. And I can't remember the details, of, like how long the family ended up keeping the bear. I think they kept it for at least several days, maybe maybe even several weeks before we were able to get out there. But uh, yeah, we, we had this baby cub. And when she came to us, she was extremely depressed. I don't remember if it was a he or a she, but the cub was super sad because it had attached to this dog and uh, the dog was no longer there. And so we wanted to, you know, wanted to find ways to, to make the bear happy. And someone suggested, oh, let's, let's bring the bear snow. And I'm thinking that there's no way that's going to work. This bear is, it's never seen snow. It's, it's a, it's a, it's not even a year old. So I don't think that's going to work, but all right. So we went down to the ice skating rink. We got a bunch of snow and we put it out and you know, this is the bear is still in quarantine, which is really cool. Cause you can get right up next to him. You, we, we couldn't be in the enclosure with the bear, but you know, the, the bear would just be, the, it'd be chain link between us and the bear. And it was just so fun being that close to one of these amazing animals. But the, we had to put the bear in a little pin while we were setting up the snow and the bear couldn't see us or the snow while, while it was in the pen. And it was crying. It was just crying, crying, crying for its mom, crying for attention. And <laughs> we, we finally get the snow all set up. We spread it out a little bit. So it's got like a little snow yard to play in. And the bear comes out and it stops crying. It's looking at us. It's, it's looking, it's just like looking right at us. It's like, you know, are you guys going to play with me or something? And it turns around and it sees the snow and immediately it gets excited. It just starts running towards the snow. It dives in it as if it knew what snow was somehow. And it starts throwing it up in the air. And we made the mistake of not anticipating how excited this bear would be because we actually put it next to a cement wall. And as he's running back and forth, he's looking at us like for approval or something. And then he runs back to the snow and throws it up in the air. And one of these times he, he ran towards the snow looking at us and he slid through it and he slammed his face into the cement wall and he was just bleeding out of his face. And he had this look like, like he'd just gotten in trouble, you know, just like, what, what the heck's going on? And he's touching his face and he's, he's looking at his paw and he's licking the blood off of his paw. Then he sees the snow again and he just freaks out again and just starts playing in it and he's flicking blood all through it. It was pretty funny. I think mean, someone had filmed it, but I think the like the zoo staff didn't let us post it online because uh you know, people are like, "Oh, he's bleeding, so it's like animal abuse." But I mean, animals get hurt playing all the time, right? You kids get hurt playing all the time. The bear was fine. But it was it was really interesting just seeing that uh level of intensity of play that this bear uh, had a desire to do. And I think that it's definitely possible that bears that live in the snow in areas that have snow seasonally, it's definitely possible that they do have some sort of an instinctual desire to play in the snow when they first see it. Because, because playing in snow is so important for them to learn how to maneuver in the snow when it really does snow. I mean, they, they have to hunt in the snow. They have to travel in the snow. They have, you know, they have to deal with the coldness of the snow. So it would make sense that they've evolved an instinctual love for snow. And maybe that explains even humans love for snow. You know, I mean, the first snow day, I live, I live in Montreal. We get pretty sick of it after a while, but the, um, the first snow day really is like exciting and you'll see, you know, dogs get excited and people get excited and bears get excited. Uh, so, yeah, I, what I can tell you is that play has evolved to help us learn how to deal with certain, with our bodies in different environments. That's, that's pretty well established. What's not really well established is if there's actually a special drive to play in snow, or if it's just, oh, look, there's a big, weird, new thing in my environment. I better go play in it. 
and have fun and learn a bunch of stuff about it so that I can deal with this later if it, you know, if it remains here. So that, that is still a little bit mysterious to me, but the way that this black bear immediately ran towards the snow, I'm going to say, uh, it's definitely possible that there is an instinctual attraction for black bears and snow. So I'm going to just leave you here, um, showing you this bear again, <laughs> this, uh, this panda bear. This is pretty good. Just loving that snow. I mean, I think probably these playful behaviors are exaggerated in zoos as well because animals get so bored in, at zoos and, and they feel safe. I mean, you play when you're in a safe environment, but yeah. Why do animals love to play in the snow? Well, play is an adaptation to help animals learn how to use their bodies. Next question.